Hi everybody, in this video finally we will connect the components of the card. Firstly, we will build all the connections. In the next videos we are going to begin the programming. So, let's do it! Okay, let's begin with the connection of the encoder. This encoder has the, the source, uh, that source uh, goes with two cables. The, the red one uh, is the positive and the black one is the negative. And uh, a third uh, cable, that cable uh, send the signal to the Arduino, is the yellow one. In the protocol, there are uh, strings of holes and that holes uh, are, uh, are like buses and those connections uh, we have the, uh, the sources of 5 volts the, the first line is 5 volts and the second line is ground then the red cable goes to 5 volts the black cable goes to ground or 0 volts and the yellow one goes to to the signal of the Arduino. Okay, but in this project we're going to use a battery. That battery has 12 volts, but all our components work in 5 volts. Then we have to reduce that voltage and we are going to use the LM7805. That is a reductor that makes that the 12 volts of our battery reduce is uh, that that voltage is reduced by using in our components like our sensor, Arduino, and in, in those components because our motor works uh, at 12 volts. Those are the connections. Uh, are really simple connections. You, you really uh, see that the red cables are 5 volts and the blue cable is uh, 0 volts and only is, uh, follow that connection. The next step is connect the another the other uh, the other cover. Uh, then uh, we connect the blue cable goes to 5 volts. And the purple cable goes to zero volts, and that's the limitation that is the source of our encoder. And uh, we have to connect the the third one uh, cable. That cable is the signal uh, that the sensor sent to the Arduino. In this case, is a red one cable. That cable goes to uh, goes to send the signal uh, to the Arduino, and that's it. Basically, uh, we have to connect right now the the Arduino. We have two sensors, and those encoders send the signals to the Arduino, and but that signals have uh, noises, and that noises. Uh, it's important to be filtered uh, before to send uh, to the Arduino because uh, that noises means that the programs don't work correctly and uh, the connection uh, is is only uh, the corruption is only to connect to condenser to capacitors between the signal and ground and that's it uh, right there we have to connect we, we have to connect that uh, filter that filter measurements is is sent to the ports of the Arduino and that, that's it is so simple and that's that uh, condensers makes that the measurements change a lot and those are very very important like a summary we have the two sensors uh, send the signal filter signal to the arduino 
to the pin 2 and 3 of the Arduino and those are the measurements that we have in this project but right now we have to think that the Arduino with those signals with those lectures have to take control to take uh, some actions and that actions are sent to the uh, uh, bridge edge that bridge edge control the the motors of our project then we have to think in that we have to think that we have to send a signal to the bridge edge and the bridge edge send signals to the different motors and th that's it we have right here uh, to make the that connection the connection of the two motors to the bridge edge that connections uh, are so simple it just follow the schematics and right here in that in that other connection between the motors we have the sources uh, that we we are going to use uh, for 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 the motors that source is the 12 volts that our batteries provides and that are so simple that just only make the connection only the make that connection the positive and negative and in the 12 volts right here to connect the that chill with 12 volts makes that the motors uh, receive signals uh, in that level of, of voltage and that, those are the connections are so simple but we have right now the the motors connect to the shield but only only rest to connect the arduino to the shield uh, the arduino sends signals to the shield those are very simple too and um, and right now just we have to connect the pwm uh, connections of the Arduino that control uh, that controls our board. Uh, those are simple and and those are the connection. The three cables that I connect uh, in this part uh, are the the direction. Two of them are the direction of the motor and. The other one is the PWN signal of the motor. And, and that's it. It's so simple. Then those connections, we have to think in that. Two of those pins, there are six cables in this shield uh, that I show, show in this video. Uh, this is cable, two of them, uh, they are distributed in pairs, pairs of, of three cables. The, the first three cables have two of those cables are the directions and the other one is the PWM signals. Right here uh, I show the schematics, uh, shows like the PWM signals and those four cables that I show you uh, those are the direction of the wheels like we are going only use one direction of our wheels uh, we only connect uh, those in the boost of the of the power of our uh, proto board right here i just connect like uh, like i want because I only tried that the motor rotates in one direction. If you in that connections, uh, you see that uh, a motor uh, rotates in other, in a different direction that you want. You only have to go to that connection and rotates the polarity of that of that cables and makes that the motor rotates backwards. And that's it. Is the idea is that the motor that they all our car uh, rotates and, and moves 
in one direction. Uh, we don't want that the that that the motor rotates in another direction. And that's it. We had we have right now the connections, the different connections. We have the sensors. The sensor read the signals of the colors, the rotation of our motors. That signals are sent uh, to our Arduino. The Arduino process that signals take some uh, control, uh, uh, control signals, control uh, lows, and that that a uh, decision that the Arduino makes are sent some signals to our bridge edge and that bridge edge makes that our motor rotates that rotation of our motors uh, makes that the that, that, that the encoder reads again the rotations and goes another uh, again to our our Arduino and the loop of our control is is easy to to watch in in that case. And that's it. We have only connect uh, only connect that rotation wheels. Those are the holes holes wheel, wheels that are used in encoders. And in only we have to put a. a that uh, in the app side the sensor and that sensor uh, makes uh, knows that the wheel rotates and that's it then color those then cover rotates and and the sensor read that that movement Just like that, uh, we have right now just put uh, on, on his place the different sensors. We have to put uh, put in these places the protoboard right there, the, the Arduino. All the connections are made, and that's it. Just put all the parts. Uh, of all the components of our project just put together uh, try to to fix everywhere uh, everything and that's it the only thing that I forget is connect the five bolts of our Arduino and the uh, ground uh, of our Arduino with the protoboard it's very important to make that because our Arduino uh, is a uh, the source, the power source of our Arduino is that, is the battery. Then we have to connect the positive and negative to the protoboard too. And that's it, that is our project. Those are the connection, are two symbols and, and that was that we expect to do. I, I really like that you share this video, that you like this video. I know that my English is not very good enough, but I really I try to improve it uh, every day and I try to do my best. Uh, thank you very much. I really enjoyed if you are following me in my social networks. And that's it. Thank you very much. See you later. And that's it. Bye-bye.